Right, hello everybody. This is a, uh, a quick video on uh, the cold to dark startup procedure for the Falcon 7X. As you can see, we're sitting in the uh, California Airlines uh, very recently added Falcon 7X. Uh, the aircraft author is a guy called After from xplane.org. So all thanks go to him, uh, obviously to Tony for painting this plane uh, with all the decals. Uh, and here we go. Let's, uh, let's find out how to start her up. What we're going to do initially is turn both battery switches on. I'm going to go up to the top of the panel here and turn the avionics on, which is here. See the screens come to life. Everything else now is going to be done from the uh, the touchscreen panels here, of which there are two, and they're both slightly different. There's a couple of options on on one or the other that that uh, uh, you need to pay attention to. First things first, um, we're going to go over and we're going to turn the APU unit on because without that functioning, the aircraft is not going to start at all. So a um, little bit of volume here. So I'm going to turn it on and then start it up. Over to the into the electrics now. I always turn the HUD off. I don't know why, but it's just something I do. I'm going to turn both inverters on. If you want to stick it on external power, then fine. If you're going to be on the ground for any long period of time, I would I would hasten to do that. Um, bus ties on. Now we're going to tell the aircraft to bleed all the way to the APU. So that again is in the BLD. This little dial all the way to the right hand side. All is actually left to do now, um, apart from obviously make sure everything is, is running. That was me turning the switch panel on here, just so I make sure everything's going. Um, is to make sure your fuel systems are on, which is down here. You'll see the fuel tab. Turn the three flows on here, and the aircraft is ready to start the engines. So we're going to go ahead and start engines one. And if you want to look at it, do it. You go over into the engine tab. You'll see the uh, the engine actually move from red to orange to green as it fires up. Start engine two. There's engine two. And engine three. Alright, now just to remember, because it will tell you everything that's going on, the APU is still running. I will then turn that off. You hear that? It goes off. Uh, by the way, if you send me a personal message, I will make sure that uh, I can talk to you about uh, these sounds. These are custom and put together by Justin Bumgardner. Um, if you like them, PM me, and I'm sure we can figure out a way to get them over to you for this aircraft. So, without further ado, let's uh, have a little taxi round to show you everything's going all right. Great sounds, as you see. The hydraulic systems on the plane will automatically come on, but if I jump back inside, you can see that there is an area for the, uh, the hydraulics. Um, I think it's in the... bear with me. I'm not quite sure where the hydraulic is. It might be up the top here. Anyway, it's not necessary. It will be on naturally. I know a lot of aircraft at the moment don't have it, and you have to turn it on in order to enable the flaps and the landing gear steer. There we are. I'm just pointing straight at it there, the hydraulics. So it's in the ECS panel. Hydraulics are there if you need to turn them on. Uh, a nice little feature here is the trim area. You can look at what's going on with the plane. For example, you drop a couple of degrees of flap and you'll see that move down on the panel on the, uh, where the mouse is pointing right now. Uh, down there, so we give it a couple of degrees. Speed brake arm is here as well. You can set the auto brakes right here, so obviously RTO for roll takeoff. Um, and uh, we're back in the plane, so uh, that is about as, as much as I can show in order to get the plane started. Uh, the rest of it's up to you. Um, the, the autopilot pilot is fantastic. Um, obviously, everything is laid out here just like in any other heavy or any other um, biz jet. Um, take a look at the scenery. This is the new PHL scenery that uh, has recently been converted by us, um, and I'm sure uh, Cal Air will be putting that together. And release, releasing that soon, but as you can see, it's uh, it's pretty fantastic scenery. Um, so I hope uh, you've uh, got the gist of how to start this thing up. Watch it, rewatch it. Um, make sure you can always play with all the uh, menus here. We've got navigation, we've got FMS. I'll tell you everything as you put this all in through the computer here. It's an amazing aircraft, as as you say. Um, brilliantly decked out now for California Airlines. I mean, even the the detail on the seats have been put together here. Um, you can move around the cabin fully, all the seats are done. Tony Sanchez, thank you very much for doing that. And I uh, wish you uh, a lot of fun with this plane, it's an absolute blast to fly. 
uh, cruising altitude about 50,000 feet, 48 to 50,000 feet, and a 0.88 mark or 0.89 mark, it'll, it'll really get up and go. So, enjoy.